Okay, question nine. We have particles and a bunny. So, we got the diagram there. Now we're told quite a bit of information. So, two small balls, P and Q, have mass of 2m and km, respectively, where K is less than 2. So, ball P is heavier than ball Q. Uh, the balls are attached to the ends of a of a string that passes over a fixed pulley. The system is held at rest with the string taut and the hanging parts of the string vertical as shown in figure one. We're told then that the system is released from rest and in the subsequent motion P moves downwards with an acceleration of magnitude 5g over 7. Uh, the balls are modelled as particles moving freely. The string is modelled as light and inextensible, so we don't care about the mass and there's no stretch in the string. Uh, the pulley is modelled as small and smooth. Using the model part A, find in terms of M and G the tension in the string. Okay, so let's first of all think about then what tension is. Tension is the upwards force acting through the string. So effectively, tension is pulling the particles upwards. So we got tension here and we got the same tension over here. Now, in the question, uh, they only want the tension in terms of M and G. So there's no K involved. So we're going to deal with ball P. Now what we need to do is think about the equations of motion. So, what forces are acting on P? Well, we know that we have a weight acting downwards. So, a weight is mass times gravity. So, this is going to be 2m g. Now, we also know that force is mass times acceleration. So, we also know that the ball is moving downwards overall. So, weight is winning. So, what we can say is that weight, so 2mg, minus the upward force of tension is equal to the overall force going downwards which is mass times acceleration. Now we know the acceleration is 5g over 7 so 2mg minus t is equal to 2m times 5g over 7. So we got 2mg minus tension is equal to uh, 10mg over 7. Now if we add tension and subtract the 10mg over 7, we get 2mg minus 10mg over 7 is equal to the tension. Now 2 in terms of 7 is 14 7 So we got 14 7 minus 10 7 mg. So we get tension is 4mg 
Okay, was seven. Go. Okay, then part B asks us, asks us to explain why the acceleration of Q also has a magnitude of 5G over 7. So, remember this string is being modelled as inextensible, which means it can't stretch. So, what we can say is as the string is inextensible and there is no stretch so Q moves upward at the same rate P moves downward. Go. Okay, part C wants us to find the value of K. So, what we're going to do to start this off is the same on the right as we just did on the left. So we got tension acting up through the string. We've got weight trying to pull Q down, but here weight is losing because Q is moving upwards. So the weight is mass, um, mass times gravity. So weight here is K M G. So we know over here then that Tension, remember tension is winning, so we are moving upwards overall. Uh, so, tension minus weight. So, minus K M G is equal to, again, mass times acceleration. So, Km uh, times 5G over 7. Now, what we can do here is substitute in our value for T that we found in part A. So, T is... 4mg over 7 so we get 4mg over 7 minus kmg is equal to uh, km times 5g over 7 so that's going to be 5k um, G over um, 7. Now, mass and gravity are common factors here, so we can now divide through by m g. So that's going to give us 4 sevenths minus k is equal to uh, 5k over 7. Now, let's multiply through by 7. So we get 4 minus 7k is equal to 5k and 7k 4 is 12k, therefore k is 4 divided by 12, which is 1 third. Cool. And part D for one mark wants us to identify one limitation 
of the model that would affect your answer to part C. So there's quite a few things we could say here. Uh, the string might not be inextensible, so it might have some stretch in it. Uh, we haven't taken into account the mass of the string. Um, the string might not be light. The balls might not move freely. There might be resistant forces like air resistance, for example. Uh, anything like that that you say, and you would be golden. Okay, guys, that's this paper done. I uh, really hope you found this useful. Good luck with your exams. For more mechanics fun, check out my AQA AS papers, which are linked down below. Take care, take it easy.